welcome to Kokoi AI, where we talk about career advice, creative outlet making, money, monetization, growth mindset, and the future to help guide creative folks through leadership, tech, and finding what makes them happiest in life. So today I got to experience something really remarkable. I got to go face to face with a dinosaur and I can't believe it happened in my own living room. I've had snakes in the living room before. I've had all kinds of other reptiles, but to be face to face with a larger than life 3D experience inside of my house was incredible. I'm gonna go through value for the money, the helpfulness, ease of use, the time saved, and the magic factor. For value of money, uh, this one's the hardest. Really, like, I don't know, $3,500 is a lot of money for one device that hasn't quite gotten a really specific use case. It's an incredible piece of machinery. Everything about it has the best engineering and all of the different cameras, the 16 different cameras. And I'm sure you can look up the technical specs on this incredible device that is so compact and makes you feel like you're in a completely different space. I'm somebody that cannot use contact lenses or color contact lenses because it um, prevents me from having a peripheral vision, which immediately gives me kind of a vertigo feeling. This wasn't there. In the Apple Vision Pro, I could see just as far as I can with my natural eyesight. Um, do I think that it was healthy for my eyes to be staring that closely into a bright screen directly into my face? Not really, but I can see its potential. I can see for accessibility, for people that have that cognitive um, degenerative eye um, blindness where they only see a limited view. If anybody has this, let me know in the comments if you've tried the Apple Vision Pro in this capacity. If Apple Vision is an accessibility tool, that opens a huge amount of doors. On, on my number two is helpfulness. I see the potential. I don't know if it's there yet. It has such accurate eye detection of where your eyes are moving back and forth. I could see things like a teleprompter or I don't know. I don't know if you would use a teleprompter with that on your face, but if you were reading a book, it would just, you could just scan the words and it would just follow and keep going. You wouldn't have to turn a page. It would just keep going. It would be almost like an auto scroll at the speed that you're reading. And if you need to go back, you, you just look, look that way and, and it'll go back. I think that the way that it expands your, your view and your space is incredible. I didn't play around with it enough to see what happens if I have multiple screens open, how does it interact with other Apple Vision Pros? Those are all things that I'm interested in understanding. Ease of use, it's pretty easy once you know like very basics. It, it walks you through all the setup, you look at your hands and then you you pinch. <laughs> you don't have to move your hand. Like I, I kept going like this, but it's really just reading this, this movement and then as you look at something, it, it, it knows what you're looking at and you can select it. It's pretty accurate. Some of the things um, in the UI are hidden. So there is this, like the notification center for, for all Apple products. You have to kind of look up at the top right for a while till there's a drop down and then you pinch. And then you, like, it's, it's kind of, difficult to find. I'm sure you could get used to it pretty quickly. I, I think about like when I did the FaceTime uh, or the, yeah, the FaceTime unlock for the first time, it, it took a minute, but then maybe after a day it was totally natural and much easier to use. So I'm assuming that the Apple Vision Pro is similar to that. So I'd say um, it's pretty easy to use. Time saved. I'm not sure. It depends on what you're doing. 
it might be nice to have this focus space that you can kind of shut out the world so you can get one thing done. Um, today, I've kind of gone through five or six different things without really strongly focusing on one thing to get to the next thing. It's almost like I halfway get something done and then I do that next thing a halfway and then just little halfways all throughout the day till maybe something is pretty much complete. So time saved, I could see it as saving some amount of time. How much? I don't know. You might end up being more in the virtual space. It's not that it takes me out of my environment, but it takes me away from people and relationships. However, I do feel like it could connect you to people and relationships, but I, I could see myself spending a lot of time inside of the virtual space because it's whatever you want it to be. The magic factor is like out of this world. I can't express how crazy this, this device is and how realistic it feels when you're inside of that virtual space. You have to try it yourself. Uh, experience it, go to the Apple store, like sign up for whatever demo. It's totally worth seeing where technology is going. I guess it's time for the ratings. For value for money, mm, I think it's pretty expensive. I'm gonna give it one money bag and say that I'm hoping that the cost of the technology goes down as the use cases go up. I think that the the internal created by Apple projects and tools are really great. I think that there's some growing pains versus like, it's not an iPad, it's not a Mac. I think it'll have its own use case, but I'm not sure we found it yet. Um, for helpfulness, for accessibility, I, I think that it has the potentially potential to be five. I think at this point, it's probably a three till they get some applications out that align with um, real problem solving. Well, it's difficult to set up, but once you get it on and it's calibrated to your head, then it's very easy to use. Um, the whole idea that it can only be used for one user and then everyone else is a guest makes this an incredibly expensive tool. So even if you are in the same family, you can't share the same Apple Pro unless one person has to adjust it constantly for their own eyes. And that's kind of like, not okay. So I, I think ease of use, I'm gonna give it three. For time saved, I don't think it saves you time. I'm gonna give it two and a half because it neither saves or gets rid of the time. The time is pretty much a constant. The magic factor, absolutely five, if not like multiples of five. This is, this is going to be something that develops over time and I wish it luck and success so that I can have a future iteration of this that maybe is lighter. It's, it's really quite heavy. Um, I can't really have something on my head for that long, I get really bad headaches. Um, but I am really excited for this technology and I hope you get to try it too and I'll see you next time, bye.